Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good week, and we look forward to a wonderful Shabbos. The last three weeks in our Erev Shabbos videos of our Torahs, we spoke about the last three brachos in every Shemona Esrei, and I'd now like to uh, return to the beginning of Shemona Esrei, doing a little bit out of order, and look at the first three brachos that begin every Shemona Esrei. And so this week, we will look at the opening bracha. The opening bracha is referred to in Chazal as Avot, uh, the patriarchs. The bracha opens with referring to Hashem as Elokeinu, Elokei Avoseinu, the God of the God of our ancestors, our forefathers, Elokei Avraham, Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov, the God of Avraham, the God of Yitzchak, and the God of Yaakov, invoking all three of them. However, the bracha concludes with Baruch Ata Hashem, Magain Avraham. Blessed are you, Hashem, the shield of Avraham. This is a phrase that Hashem spoke to Avraham after the war of the four and five kings, telling Avraham, Al tira, do not be afraid, Anochi, Magain Lecha, I will be a shield for you. The concluding bracha, the concluding phrase of every bracha is its essence. And here the bracha concludes with Magain Avraham, Avraham alone without including Yitzchak and Yaakov. And so the bracha begins with all three and ends just with Avraham. Why is that? Uh, the Gemara already uh, deals with this uh, and explains and provides a source for why we invoke the Avot in the first bracha whatsoever. The Gemara says that we can find an allusion to this in the very beginning of Parshish Lechacha, when Hashem calls Avraham to go to walk to the land that he will show him. And Hashem promises Avraham, and I'll make you into a great nation if you go, Avraham, if you go on this journey. And I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. What does it mean that Avraham will be turned into? Uh, a great nation. So the Gemara understands this as an allusion to the fact that there will be a people who will serve God, who will pray to God, invoking his name. Amr Shem ben Lakish, Rish Lakish taught, you'll be made into a great nation. Zesha Omrim Eloke Avraham, that an entire nation will refer to Hashem as the God of Avraham. Vavarechacha, I will bless you. This is a, in a, an additional aspect. Zesha Omrim Eloke Yitzchak. An illusion that we refer to Hashem as Elokei Yitzchak, Vagadlah Shemach, your name will be great, Zeu Shomer Elokei Yaakov. So those three phrases refer, allude to Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, and that we should invoke them when we stand before Hashem. The more asked, Yachal Yuchosmin Bechulan, but perhaps if so, therefore we should also conclude the bracha with all three. We should conclude with Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokei Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, or Magain Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. Or Goel, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Tamalom, or therefore, there is a fourth and final phrase in this Pasuk in the beginning of Parshas Lachacha, the Hayei Bracha. And you, Avraham, you will be the blessing. Mikan from here, Chosmin, Bechavin, Chosmin, and we conclude the Bracha with Avraham. Avraham is the essence. Why is that? Was Avraham greater than Yitzchak and Yaakov? There are other sources that imply that Yaakov was greater. His image, his face is engraved on the Kisya Kav, on the heavenly throne in Shemaim. Why do we conclude with Avram? Why is Avram more intertwined with the concept of prayer, more so than Yitzchak and Yaakov? And perhaps the answer is that Avraham was the first. And that means Avraham was alone. He could not follow the path of someone else. There was no one from whom to emulate. He, of course, had his partner, Sarah, but they were the first. They were creating it. They were doing it on their own. And the fact that he was alone with Hashem, that created a certain power and connection and intimacy in his relationship with Hashem, because it was just him and Hashem. When Yitzchak was raised into this tradition, Yitzchak, of course, served Hashem, was connected to Hashem, but he was now part of a larger group. He was serving Hashem with his father, Abraham. And so to Yaakov and everyone uh, since then, all of us as part of the Jewish people, we are part of this group serving Hashem, only Avraham uh, was alone, was the one who would feel that it is just me and Hashem. One of the uh, most amazing aspects of the Torah, of our tradition, uh, that it is uh, divine, what is so uh, incomprehensible, so unbelievable, is that on the one hand, we all follow a tradition. We are all part uh, of this group. We all have uh, a map, the Torah in front of us, of how to live our lives and how to serve Hashem. 
And yet, within that map, it is possible, and in fact, we are obligated to find our unique path, our unique point of connection, because each of us is unique, which means we connect to Hashem in a unique way. And nowhere is that more felt than in davening, in prayer. When we daven, we close our eyes. It is just us and Hashem, our minds, our hearts and Hashem, our requests and hopes and questions and Hashem, our thanksgiving and joy in Hashem. It is just us and Hashem. And so for tefillah, we are modeled after Abraham. We pray, praise Hashem, Baruch Hashem. We recognize him. We know him as Magena from the shield of Abraham. We are following in the footsteps of Abraham. It is just you and me, Hashem. And this is so important for all of our uh, service of Hashem our entire lives. On one hand, to feel that we are part of this really big thing. Elokeinu, Elokei Avlusenu. Elokei Avraham, Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov. We are part of a tradition. We are part of a nation. We are part of a group, a part of a community. But throughout our lives, we are also supposed to feel that I have a unique mission. I have a unique path. There is no one like me. There is no one who serves Hashem like me. That Hashem uniquely personally watches over me and cares about me. That is true always, but it is true in particular when we daven. And that is how we start and focus ourselves in the beginning of every Shemona Esrei. That is why the bracha uh, concludes with Baruch HaTashem Magin Avraham, because all of us are like Avraham when we daven. It is just us and Hashem. Good Shabbos, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom.